Hey, Anna McHugh here reporting live on the mushroom scene in Raleigh, North Carolina. I am hanging out with a specimen of Tylopolis plumio violaceus. And uh, I love purple mushroom species. They just look so ludicrous and silly and fun on the backdrop of, you know, the conservative browns, grays, and greens of your deciduous forests on the East Coast. And so I'm always delighted to find uh, any purple mushroom, but Tylopolis plumio violaceus in particular is, uh, you know, really appealing to me because it has this sort of streaky stem. It's a little bit, uh, you know, sort of lumpy. And uh, so, you know, it has this sort of uh, elaborate and goofy look that I really enjoy. Anyway, uh, Tylopolis plumio violaceus is not edible. It is bitter as a son of a gun. So the Tylopolis genus is, um, you know, a number of different species that are all bolete type mushrooms. So they have, um, you know, a porous surface, a spongy surface underneath instead of gills or something similar. Uh, but Tylopolis mushrooms oftentimes are in this sort of like brownish area with uh, hints and tones of purple and lilac. And many of them are really super duper bitter. So they're not harmful, but like in the case of this, I'm gonna take a little munch. And it's almost instantaneously unpalatable. Um, you know, I'm gonna go and uh, get something citrus flavored to try to drown out what I just did to the inside of my mouth. So, uh, you know, obviously Tylopolis plumio violaceus, not for the table, but it's definitely a great species. Um, as far as, you know, photography, I really just enjoy finding them because they are kind of unusual looking. So uh, distinguishing features as far as the Tylopolis genus, you're looking at a cap and stem mushroom. It is purple. This uh, purple stem is pretty distinctive, even in the uh, Tylopolis genus, which again has sort of these, um, you know, a collection of purpley lilac species. But this stem is, you know, and Plumio violaceus is really purple. Uh, you have a, um, you know, a, a spongy undersurface, as with all bolete type mushrooms. It starts out white and it sort of turns, uh, you know, a slightly darker color as it uh, matures. But at the beginning, it's a very pleasing uh, sort of white color. Uh, and then additionally, you know, you oftentimes have this sort of streakiness and, uh, you know, it, it uh, has not really a candy cane look, but it's definitely textured and streaky. So that's kind of a fun identification feature in addition. So uh, Tylopolis plumio violacea is pretty easy to identify um, in general if you find a uh, purple lilac colored bolete. It is most likely a Tylopolis of some kind. One of the first things that you're going to want to do with it, identification-wise, is taste it for, um, you know, whether or not it is bitter. And uh, the important thing to note with tasting wild mushrooms, it's perfectly fine. Boletes are really difficult to identify, and uh, taste is an important part of mushroom identification. So you have a lot of people running around uh, munching on boletes to try to identify them. So um, anyway, if you're going to uh, taste test a mushroom in the field, uh, you should always just take a small amount and also spit it out when you're done with it, even if it tastes delightful. So, you know, in the case of mushrooms like the death cap, Amanita phylloides, evidently it tastes quite pleasant. So uh, long and short of it is, Tylopolis oftentimes is gonna make your mouth taste very, very bitter. Uh, certainly in the case of uh, Plumio violaceus, it is extremely bitter, very purple, and thus delightful.